It's already Sunday. I'll been, uh, I'll be getting increasingly ex, uh, excited. This uh, I excited. I know what I was trying to say. Natsuki's coming up visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other... Yeah, we sent e each other one after exchanging, exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different... She... She's almost a different personality on the phone using tons of emo emojis and cute language notice me senpai okay okay oh she also really likes complaining about things but I kind of saw that one coming of course she did who the hell won it? But putting Netsuki aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Natsuki's feelings aside when she might need me. I decided to, I decided decided to visit Sayori before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I, I'm simply tell her I'm coming over. Much like we'd done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we use we made a, a habit of simple entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's all right. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Oh, Sayori? Hi, Ethan. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. Mm. There is a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a, a long time. Not much ha has really. Not much has it. Not much has really changed, hasn't it? There, Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I almost recognize the same stuffed animals in wall decorate decorates that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over here today? Aren't you supposed to see Netsuki today? Yeah, but wait, how do you know? How did you know that? Sayori already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Madoka told me it's only nature for her to to keep me in, informed about the festival per, um, uh, preparation, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Ain't you going to going to be helping Monica too? Oh, of course. But 
I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and N Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Natsuki stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just want to see how you were doing after you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Ethan. Huh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak accidentally expressing my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You, you wouldn't have ever been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have have you come over today. I it just wants to torture me. <laughs> Sayori, why did I? I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What? What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's n no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh, uh. Sir gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Ethan. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I'll, I'll always be like this. You just seen it for the first time. Seen what? Why are you talking about Sayori? <laughs> you're, you're really just gonna to make me say it, aren't you, Ethan? I guess I have no choice this time. This, the thing is. I had really bad depression my whole life. Oh. Oh. Well, that's sad. Sorry to hear that. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why? go to school why eat why make friends why make other people put their energies and caring to waste by having them spend it on me that's what it feels like and that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worry about me I'm in shock I can't even figure out how to respond how is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I know I known her. Did she really want want so badly for me? Really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, so Sayori? Huh? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your your close friend. It's because if I knew, I would have done anything I could do s could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Ethan. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you won't have to waste effort caring about me instead of, of doing important things. Doing important things. I don't... I don't want 
to be cared about. It's it's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just spit your pig smoke. Uh, that's why I wanted so bad. I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a spirit going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to, to help you stop hurting, that's what... I'll do. Ethan, no. No, no, Ethan. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaks down Sayori's face. Oh, no. You didn't do nothing wrong. Instead of, like, basically dragging me to the literature club. But hey! I, I don't care. I made you join the literature club because I was shellfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grabbed Sayori's shoulders. This time, I pulled her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, Ethan. Sayori, I don't care if, you're, if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone, then that's just a bonus. But please don't under underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ethan? Sorry, isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her side. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Ethan. I. Sayori barely managed to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Ethan. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too. Are you saying my hugs can actually kill you? Like, because of that, that's actually rude. I'm embracing you like a bear hug. Bear hugs basically cheer you up. Not to basically just scare you to death. But yeah. Sorry, let me go. 
as she does, so I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, 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 it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah? Sorry, already wipes, wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. All, of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But, it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At, at the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Sayori shakes her, her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that w would be very good for me today. You you understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Uh, all right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy, but it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki is, is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much. Okay, that's not me. I worry very too much. Okay? I worry about my family. I'm worried about my friends. I'm worried about everything. But yeah, back, back to the thing. And we definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at the house awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Before I knew it, she texted me to let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I opened the front door to let her in. Sup? Hey, I don't know how I was expecting, but seeing Natsuki in something other than her school, oh no, school uniform totally threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in compassion. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just be because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyways, I'm coming in. Oh, this is my kitchen. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Oh, that's me. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that is probably full of baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all the way to find that you, your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. You brought everything I asked for to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear Natsuki suddenly say that, rather than something sn snaky, snarky, I don't know, like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyways, let's go to the kitchen. Uh, what? You're not, you're not even going to offer to take these heavy bags for, from me? Where's your hospitality, Ethan? Come on. Since when I did, wait, since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grab the bags Natsuki holds out to me. Gah, this is ridiculous heavy. Ha ha ha. I carry that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed, Natsuki. 
It seems like I un I always underestimated you. Ah. Yeah. Uh, that's just me being like um, carrying heavy stuff. Ev everything. Oh wait, everything. Where did I get everything from? Oh. <laughs> it's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey, hey! Your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Uh-huh. Um, uh, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like proving people wrong when they only think I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also be better than other people, but geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of things I got to teach you. Ah, what? Huh, that's a bit, a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you're just speaking your mind like that. Uh, hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And you... And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri... Doesn't mean you should treat me like... Uh... Natsuki catches her words and her face goes red. Natsuki? Forget it! I didn't say anything. I I should apologize. Uh huh. I appreciate that you're tr you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more concerned too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you you should know that there there are diff tons of guys who are into body types like yours. Uh. How could. You know that anyways. Just trust me on this one. <gasps> Gross. Hey. Was that to me? Who else? Man. Let's just get started already. Aha! You get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Ethan. Nasuki smiles. Deli uh, delirious. I don't know. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuki decide to dish out more insult like that, there's no, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now. Finally, starting to pull things out of the, uh, out of her bag, so we can get started. Before long, before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers, spilled fluids, and plastic bags are stirring up about every corn corner top. The, mi the mixture isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we had to do it several, several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I don't mess up her precious cooking. Ethan, where did you put the food coloring? The batter, the batter is going, going in the oven soon. S so I need to fill the tray. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. Uh, what are you using it for? To color the ba batter, of course. I'm making every tray a different color. Oh, that's actually cool. Like. I, I, my parents or anyone can't do that. Wait, well, I mean, they can, but they never did that before. But she's having a good idea. That way, even if the flavor isn't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. Uh, ah, that's a cute idea. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Ah, you're asking me? I don't really have a preferred... Preferness, I don't know. So, come on. You're not picking any 
You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get me out of. Uh, got, get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separate, separate from the batter into the small balls. Putting and and put a few drops of food coloring into each. Ah, that that does look pretty cool. See, it's not like bacon is just about following dis following instructions. The presentation is where you get to be creative and have the most fun. It's a m it's a million times more worth it in the end if. Just looking at at it makes everyone's eyes light up, lighting up, like the the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cup, her cat-shaped cupcakes, and Natsuki and Sayori's and Natsu uh, uh, Sayori's and Ma Monica's delighted expressions. Ah, uh, I would. Uh, I, I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. Yeah. Maybe I you Maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completing... Finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electrical like mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisker and a, and a and a huge bowl for for the icing. Huh? The icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It's just it'll t just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it uh, like that. Here, look. Uh, Natsuki, Natsuki grabs the whisker from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really had to beat the crap out of it! After a few seconds, the, uh, the, cons uh, the considerate of the icing already starts already improves I don't know see as if to imperilise I don't know how to say that I'm Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth I relax her to do the same hey Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist I don't want your gross fingers in my in my icing your icing huh are you forgetting you did who did did all the work? I started to fight back, trying to inch my finger towards the ball. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. I like I like to see you try. I push harder to enough my finger to reach the icing. I scoop some with my finger just as Nasuki tugs with all her might. Ah! The force of Natsuki pulls me again, causes me to tremble, making her tremble in turn. Gross! You got him, got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a a big blob of ice can oh icing on Natsuki's chest. Ah. She tries to reach with her tongue, but it's too far. Jeez. You know what? Take this! Natsuki instead wipe it off with her fingers before shoving her finger towards my face. You wish! I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Ah, stop! Until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine! I'm sorry for calling you gross. You don't... You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the... You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just 
to get a reaction out of me. You, re you sh really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is that so? In that case, I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't do this either. How old is Netsuke? No, I'm checking this. I'm 16. By the way, uh, this is day two. By the way, I. Okay, how old is Net? Turns my head slowly, takes down Netsuki. How old is Netsuki? She's 18. Ugh, no, no, I'm sorry. I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Did you seriously just... Ah! Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely, entirely red. Ethan, you should really do the... Oh. Oh. 18. 16. 18. 16. 18. 16. I'm sorry. I, for a minute, I sound like uh, Asian Jake Paul. Mm. You shouldn't. You really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? Uh. What kind of question is she? Is she asking me just like that? How did the moon turn turn to this so quickly? I Natsuki glazed at me in silence. I noticed her swallow breaths, shallow breaths. How am I starting to feel dizzy? Uh, I don't know where the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <coughs> no wonder you let the dirty tray in here, uh, dummy. How could you make a mistake like that? You should have checked before turning on the oven. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez, Nasuki used a oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove in the other moment the fire alarm stops anyways I'm putting them in the oven now yeah the attention from the moment before starting links over our heads but the moment ha has already been lost I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcake trays into the oven then I relax her to uh, pick up the whisk the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever hap happened ah that smells good the cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven as soon as Natsuki opens the oven a blast of sweet smell warm air fills the room look at how cute they look they all look she probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays They'll even, uh, they'll even, they look even better once we add the icing. No, not like you need to tell me that. I brought the decoration stuff, so I hope you get, can't get creative. Here's scoop of, of, here, scoop the icing in this bag. Nasuki hands me some paper bags. Plastic bags, I'm sorry. I have those, uh, these nozers, nozers, not nozers, that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick one of the nozers. Oh. I pick up one of the na nozers. I don't know. Well, how to say that? 
that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really th thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you you can also use it to write write stuff on cake. Like happy birthday or whatever. Ah, I see. That gives me a idea actually. Huh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We couldn't make it more literature theme by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choosing their cupcake based on the word they like. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, but that's actually a really cute idea, so, ah, uh -huh. maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. N nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this. And not expect me to think you're cute. W well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? No, nothing! Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think, but before Natsuki quickly moves on, she shows me how to imply the icing. Okay. And then we each get to work. When we finally finish, Natsuki puts them all side by side to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are, look. They are together, sorry. I'm so tired from day one. Plus, I had anxiety at school today, so. Yay, this, this game wants me to have anxiety. Yay. I'm just kidding. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Uh, uh, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Uh, Natsuki's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, she'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyways, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to get home. I need to be home for dinner. Ah, oh, ready? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. Oh, God. I don't like Yuri, but I do like Natsuki and Sayori, but I'm going with Sayori because she has been my best friend ever. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man, as usual, Natsuki uh, pl placed the blame on me. You could bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Natsuki each carry some, then you, you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do it. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. Aha! I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah. Yeah. Again, think back to the conversation I had with Sayori today. Hmm. Um, earlier today, I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at the point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk home out. I'll walk you out 
I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and, and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What were you... Wait, what you said before about not always having this chance? It doesn't have to be that way all, all, at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think that if possible, I like to spend more time like this. If you want to remake uh, or go somewhere, uh, do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, I want to spend time, more time with you. I Ethan, I thought you only care about getting this done. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I w I really would stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Same inches from me. Natsuki looks up at me. I feel my her fingers gently clutches at the side of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks matches uh, matches eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips what is happening my head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me I felt it for a while now <laughs> Nesuki Nesu suddenly jumps back Sayori uh? Uh, hi Ethan Sayori just now we weren't <laughs> it's okay why does that sound like sands <laughs> okay I'm cringy <laughs> I'm very cringy <laughs> no why I'm very cringy if I see a comment saying you're cringy no one likes you I'll accept it and just say yeah you're right I am cringy but but people do care and do love me but to take their word, I'm just going to accept the fact and just basically just let them win. It's not about war, like starting a war or something like that. But yeah. It's okay, Ethan. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so already... That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyways, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries, on, hurries off, and Natsuki waves by goodbye. E Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination's was being mean was really mean to me so so I had to come over here see it for myself see what what are you talking about you know how much fun you were having with Natsuki and how close you got to her it makes me very happy that you you've made such good friends that all Oh no. That's all that matters to me. Tears started to go d fall down Sayori's face. That's all matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Ethan? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart's in half 
It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's okay, Ethan. It's true, Ethan. If I wasn't here... Then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... M Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this is... This isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to, I'm going to be by your side until you. Don't feel any pain, any more pain. But Sayori looks away. I put a hand on my shoulder to assume her. I'm scared, Ethan. I'm s really scared. What? What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like. I may like you more than than you like me, Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Ethan. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anyone. I slide my hand down. I slide my hands down Sayori's arms and squeeze her her hand in my arm. Do you remember how I oh, I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's when I, I'm going to give to you. I love you! I love you. Uh -huh. Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me more than I, I like you. Oh. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you, you really, truly, the most important person to me. Hello, to the air. Da, 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 do, do, do. I'm again. I'm cringy. You come to this channel to, to see me suffer, correct? Well, I'm suffering you with my cringiness. That's not a word, isn't it? Crap. Okay. That's why I, I accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. Ethan. Whoa! Suddenly, Say Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. My character looks cute, to be honest. Well, it's me, but I, but I have like purple dyed purple hair on the top, and that would want to be my hair color, to be honest. But hey, it's just a game. Ethan, is this really okay? Yeah. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closely. You never had to let go of me again. I, l I, I love you, Ethan. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori grips around me, waking a little bit. What is, 
What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the ha happiest moment for me. But why? But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? Sayori. Oh no. I, oh god. I'm, oh. oh god, anxiety is coming in. Oh. Uh, my heart. They're not going to stop at all, Ethan. There you go. It's okay, Ethan. Just making sure. I'm. It's okay, Sayori. It might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. There's... That's all the, that matters right now. Uh, okay, I trust you. I should save just in case because I don't want to mess up on anything. So now we're on the 16th, I'm, and not 16, 17, not 18. I mean, why am I skipping every? Oh yeah, um, I'm a nice guy. I'm like if people get. A chance to get to know me better, you will see that I'm really a caring guy. Even though people will think I'm depressed or something like that, or anything that might like offend them, or oh god, or anything, I I will always be their friend and always love them to death. Oh god, I'm actually crying. Oh god, I haven't cried since my nephew's birth. I'll get back to the uh, thing. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first day then, huh? <laughs> Why are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know. I want everything to be the same as it always has been. Even if we if we really are a couple. I don't know if I couldn't I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me, I understand. We go at whatever pace suits you best. That's actually true because Oh god, that's actually sad for me because Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I will do that, like... Why am I actually... Oh, God. Oh, God. Ethan? Sayori glances at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really really sad this is the best thing for me right huh I don't really understand what Sayori means by that are you saying that this is making you feel sad Sayori I, I don't know I don't understand what I'm feeling it felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me but that's why I wanted to trust you you know what's best for me. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. 
but I, I know that I'll give it everything I got. So, Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expect this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but to say that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the, pre the presentation for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking, stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funny enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Ethan! You're the first one here! Thanks for being early. That's fun. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we performed. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days disappointed she'd try a little harder? I say that, but I suddenly remember what Say Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awkward. Yeah. Knowing it's not nearly the simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Uh, you should take a little responsibility for her, Ethan. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But, I stammered. I, I embarrassed myself. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone. Yeah. Jeez. You... You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check up? Check out the pamphlets? They came out very nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets, lay down on the desk. Oh, yeah. They really did. Something like that will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I slipped through the pages. Each member's poems is neatly printed on its own page, giving it a almost professional feel. I recognized Natsuki's and Yuri's poem for the ones that they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I never heard before. Get, get out of my head! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Time to turkey! Get out of my head! Get out of my head! I do what I know is best for you. I listen to everything she said to me. I show you how much I love you. I, I feel I finished writing this poem, but a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Huh? What is this? Reading the problem gets a, a pit in my stomach. Ethan? 
What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem ve feels completely different from anything else Sayori's written. But m more than that, I changed my mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get Sayori. So ah, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't stain yourself. Monica calls through, calls that out after me. I quickly my pace. <laughs> what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a bit uh, deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking with, walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides. I told you yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. <laughs> they always... That's all she needs. And what I want to give her, what I... I reached Sayori's door, knocked on the door. I, ex I don't expect to answer since she's not picking up her phones either. Like after that, I opened the door and let myself in. Sayori, she is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own room? That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In case, it just feels right. Outside of Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, Sayori wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really did, didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't this a breach of privacy? But she really, she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Sayori! Oh! 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 Sayori! What? What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I... I... I vomit. Just yesterday, I told Yori... So Yori, I would be there for her. I told her I would. I know what's best, and that's everything will be okay. But then why? Why would she do this? <laughs> How can I be so? Oh God, I'm feeling terrible. So helpless. What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I shouldn't have confessed it to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarm of thoughts keep keep telling me everything I could have done to pretend this. If I just spent more time with her, walk her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been that I couldn't have prevented this I know I could have prevented this screw the literature club screw the festival I just lost my best friend someone I grew up with she's gone forever if I can do nothing I do can bring her back there isn't some game this isn't some game where I can reset and try something different I only have I had only one chance and I, I wasn't careful enough and now I'll carry this girl with me until I die nothing in my life is worth more than hers but I still couldn't do what she need she needed from me and now I can never take it back never 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 No! This can't be the end. No, no, no. 
Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be day three. 